Hello everyone, this is Daphne O and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please hit that like and subscribe button and join the family. If you're already a part of the family, thank you for coming back by. I really appreciate it. And this video is a follow-up video to one that I already uploaded, unboxing my Galaxy S6 Lite. This video, I'm just be showing you a few of the notification settings. Um, it's not really a detailed video. I'm just showing you a few of the uh, notification settings. Uh, as I always say, please excuse any background noises you hear. I'm not a professional, and you will hear all the unprofessionalism in my videos. And I'm going to let the video speak for itself now, and I will see you guys at the end. If you want to add your own custom ringtone, you can just hit the plus sign right there and you can upload whatever audio that you have downloaded to your device. Here you can change how your notifications will appear on your, your um, device screen. You can do a brief notification or one that's got more detail to it. And it lets you choose which apps. You can go here and choose which apps you want to be notified for and not notified for. Do not disturb is something I really do like, especially if you do a lot of recording or use your device to do a lot of um, video recording. I have my do not disturb on a lot. I miss a lot of phone calls because I have my do not disturb on. I forget to turn it off. But you can set a custom time for it or you can just turn it on and off as you need. Um, if you're like me, you might want to set a custom time because I forget to turn it back on. Dark mode just changes your device um, screen from dark to light, which is what I'm showing you here. It's not something you have to use, but you know, it's better on the eyes sometimes at night to have it on dark mode versus just the regular um, mode. I should have shown more detail on the edge panel and I didn't, but the edge panel is a little bar that's on the right side or left side of your device that you can bring out and it has shortcuts to um, whatever you choose. You can choose different widgets for um, the shortcuts, but you can have shortcuts to your recent contacts or to your phone, to your most favorite apps, to your clipboard. I mean, it's, a, it's different widgets you can use. And here, I'm just showing you that you can change the transparency of it, the size of it and the color. If you look over there on the right hand side and it's going up and down that's what the edge panel is 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 i should have bring it out so you can see what i was talking about but i didn't but that, that that's what the edge panel is you can play around with it yourself and see how it goes the navigation buttons you can either have it show the buttons or do swipe gestures i tried both i always like the buttons but i decided to try to swipe gestures it was all right i didn't like it so i went back to the buttons and then when i went back to the buttons i really realized that i like the swipe gestures better so i went back to the buttons
And right here, I'm gonna show you how you can change your wallpaper for your home screen and your lock screen. Um, I'm gonna have my illustrations blocked out because I do professional um, illustrations for my books and people will steal your ideas. So that's why I have that blocked out. But I'm just showing you how I picked one that I've done of me and my daughter. And I'm going to use it for, I think I already got my lock screen as myself. And I'm going to use this. No, my home screen is myself. I'm going to use this for me and my daughter. But that's where you would go in to change your um, screens. You'll go into wallpaper. And I didn't go into much detail about biometrics and security and privacy and location in Google and the account backup and advanced features. <laughs> um, digital well-being, all that. You can uh, just go in and play around yourself and see how it all works. I will show you the battery and device care where you can check your battery percentage and your storage and your memory. i am show you where you can go find all your apps if you're looking for your apps and go into general management. Then I'm going to come back and show you um, a little tip about S Pen that I learned. Uh, most of you might already know about it, but I didn't, so I'm gonna show you what I learned. Speaking of the S Pen, if you want to do the S Pen text, which is what I'm gonna show you later on, you have to have the Samsung keyboard um, enabled. You can't use any other keyboard with the S Pen text. You have to have the Samsung keyboard. Um, this is software update, and I didn't know it was gonna do it when I clicked on it, <laughs> so I just sped through it. I really didn't know it was gonna do it. <laughs> But yeah, you have to have the Samsung keyboard if you want to do the S Pen text. Um, it doesn't work with the Google keyboard. I don't think it works with any other keyboard. But I'm going to show you that a little bit later on. Well, I guess I'm going to show you now, not much later on. <laughs> but I typed in S Pen in the search bar so it could bring up all the um, settings for the S Pen. Anything you need to um, find in settings, you can also type it in a little search bar. And you make sure you have S Pen to text enabled in order to use it. And like I say, you have to use it with the Samsung's uh, toolbar. And I do believe you have to use it with the Samsung Internet. I ain't for sure. I haven't tried it with Google Internet um, or whatnot. But what it does is you can write like you're writing regularly with a pencil. And then it'll just turn it into text for you. I wouldn't necessarily say it's easier or quicker. Because sometimes it's quicker for people to text with their fingers and write. But this is how it works. I'm just writing in Facebook. And then see, it puts it in Facebook. I mean, it's kind of cool. It's kind of neat. Once you get used to it, it might actually become quicker than actually using your um, thing, especially if you're on a big, bigger device like a tablet. It might be quicker, but on the phone, it might be just quicker to um, text it with your finger. But yeah, I uh, made it to the end of the video. If you have stuck with me this far, I truly appreciate it. Once again, please hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. You all have a great one. Bye.